Alrighty then. We are Richard. We have a lantern, neck scarf, stained glass woman, stained glass bluebeard, and a demon crown. And we are playing Dark Romance 5 Curse of Bluebeard. And we have a puzzle here. Laboratory table. Arrange the tokens under the related element symbol. Press adjacent tokens to swap them. Wait, arrange the tokens under the related element symbol. Oh, okay. Um. Maybe? I'm just guessing that it's color-wise. Yeah, that seems to be an a, a correct assumption. Except that this one's not- oh, these are probably for here. Ah. Yes. Okay, and the gray. Okay, so again, I don't know what easy is, if this is hard, because like... It's not difficult. It's just tedious. Dead and out of my way at last. Wow, you really had to like shove it in her f in your aunt's face by like giving a gravestone that says dead and out of my way at last. Like really. The old crone finally died, but her curse is still haunting me. I can't get rid of it. So who ever cursed him is entombed here. Maybe I can summon her ghost to learn more. I should probably prepare a bit more before I summon a ghost. Nah. Something about dark places. Here's a lantern. Or I need a lantern, I should say. Here you go. Boom. That is a pounder. Recipe scroll. It looks like I need a bottle of blood, an animal skull, and a pounder. Good thing we already have a bottle of blood, apparently. Chisel. Okay, where do we get an animal skull? I guess in this wall. No, but almost. Cigarette case. Okay, we can make fire. That's cool. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anatomy room. We found Rachel, apparently, and blood! Whee! Gonna just casually ignore Rachel. That was definitely magic. Where does this portal lead? Hello. I don't see a lock. I'll have to find a different way to open it. No. Nope. 
Wake Rachel up. Oh no, Rachel, my love, please wake up. What did Bluebird do to you? I'll find a way to revive you, I promise. Well, she's already dead? She hasn't even bor born... Born? Born a child yet, yes. There we go. Clog love. Pink liquid lightning. I don't know. Green bottle and incense. Pink liquid. Okay, how do I make pink liquid with green? Eh, uh, what? Okay! Bolt cutters! Yes! Friend! Cut those chains! Hello! Dead person, thank you. Appreciate your help. Summoning. Okay, that was unnecessarily loud. Hello, Richard. I'm Meredith, Bluebeard's aunt. As much as it pains me, I must admit, this is my fault. Twelve years ago, this whole castle was mine, and Bluebeard was my heir. I sensed a growing dark force in him, so I decided to sell my estate. Wait, his Ethan is only twelve years old? No, maybe he started doing this before. Did, what? Wait, what? When Bluebeard found out, he was determined to preserve his inheritance. He murdered me just before I could sell my estate. I put a curse on him as I lay dying. Forgive me. No, no I'm scared. I never imagined he could pass the curse on to his heirs. If I had known the words on my deathbed would have caused so many to suffer. I can help you wake Rachel. Take my diadem. It's missing a gemstone, but if you restore it and place it on Rachel's head, you can send her a message through her dreams. That will guide her back to the waking world. Seriously, Ethan is only 12 years old. Are you kidding me? And Nate whatever his name was, is like, what, 11? What? What a nice woman! And quite insightful, one of the first people to see Bluebeard for what he really is. Also, it's her fault. The diadem was crafted in ancient times. The magic emeralds in it allow its owner... And to enter the dream world, maybe? If I find the missing emerald, I can talk to Rachel in her dreams. Okay, done. Glad you look so worried. Well, I'd better figure this out before Bluebeard realizes that Richard spoke to me. Find a way to wake up. Okay, but seriously, seriously, seriously. Look at these statues. Okay, no, apparently not. Hello, my name is Esther. 
I was Bluebeard's third wife. After my son Sebastian was born, Bluebeard murdered me. My... my bo boy... <laughs> my son's blood has a great power because of Bluebeard's curse. That's why Bluebeard keeps him alive. I can't find peace in this world. I can't even find my bracelet. It's, it's lost here. If you can find it, I'll help you wake up. Keep your eyes open. You may see Bluebeard's parents here. They live in the portraits here. Take this. It must be important. So I need to find lost jewelry for a ghost and talk to Bluebeard's parents through haunted portraits. Just a regular day. Pretty much. Okay, but look, look here, look here. I know that they say that like, oh, but they died hundreds of years ago. Okay. Or, or... Okay. The aunt literally said, 12 years ago he murdered me. Okay. And it seems that Bluebeard started... That's when he got cursed. So that must mean that he started getting his children after that. Which means that this dude, Ethan, in human form, is apparently 12 years old. Okay, fine. Here it says, after the Count was killed and the curse was lifted, Ethan became a loving husband and father. Sure. Why does the game even let us look at the statuettes before we actually played the game? Like, this is so much info that you're just giving us that we're not supposed to have. Okay, but seriously. Does it not sound like a 12-year-old? How is this a 12-year-old? How is the other dude, an, uh, like, an, uh, I don't know, 11-year-old? And if we meet Sebastian, he has to be, like, 10? 9? Like that? No! That ain't no 12-year-old! Inwees. I miss my son terribly, and I'm tortured by the fact that his father hurts him. I feel helpless. This must stop. Can't even imagine how that must have felt. Or still feel. I mean, she's, she's here. It's not like she stopped hurting. It's so strange to see myself like that. I must help Richard and defeat Bluebeard. I'm missing button won't stop me now. Yes, shower. Uh, okay. There we go. The fabric is hiding something. Can I cut it open? Sure, I mean, if you really want to. It's not what I was hoping for. Okay. Uh, sure, let's do match three. Play yourself, that's awesome. You found a magic box! Okay. Um. Okay, big difference. Magic barrier. Arrange the tokens so that the symbols on the top and bottom combine to make the center symbol. Press the tokens to swap them. I'm not really sure what the like the hard part and hard is because like
Blue Bear's Tower. Hello, Blue Bear's Tower. I guess those are your parents over there. Well, not the tower's parents, I mean Blue Bear's parents. Okay. There. Spell. Uh, bonds of Darkness. Using one magic wand is good, but using two is better. Weaker sorcerers can unite their powers with Bonds of Darkness. Uh, uh, uh. Kerberos. Kerberos, often called the Hound of Hades, is a monstrous multi-headed dog who guards the gates of the underworld, preventing the dead from leaving. Kerberos is usually described as having three heads, a serpent tail, and snakes protruding from various parts of his body. My parents died when I was just a child, so my aunt raised me. Oh, how I hate her. Bluebeard. One interesting note about Bluebeard's parents. What, that they're dead? It's locked. Not for long. It's rusted shut. Uh, for some reason I have an oil can, so... Okay, it's a picture of Rachel. And I'm not sure I can do much here without a train. Young lady, you're in a very special place. Young Alistair, or Bluebeard as you know him, hid from his problems here. I'm his father, so I know all about it. My wife and I were never very close in life. She even left me here in our wedding portrait. <sighs> Maybe it's too late for me to make amends to Angelica. But I would like to try nevertheless. If you can convince her to return, I'll reveal one of my son's secrets. There are more than one. I guess he's lonely, I should find his wife. I mean, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't like force her to go back just because. Okay. Choose the symbols in the correct order from the panel on the right to create the code. Oh, okay. <laughs> Tower. One figurine is missing here. Oh. Here we go. That's sixteen roses. How can I get the mask off with my pliers? Storage case handle. Sure, let's go buy some things. Bookcase. Ornamental table. Grandfather clock. I'm pretty sure this is not a wallpaper. I would not call this a wallpaper. Rocking chair, why not? Six, nine, fourteen, sixteen, all right. Torture chamber. That's where he hid from his problems. What a cheerful scene! I need to explore this room carefully. A lot of sharp objects around. Sacrificial Treaty. Sorcerers would be happy to steal someone's soul using Sacrificial Treaty. The spell allows a sorcerer to steal the remaining years of a person's life. 
What if it's a person who dies tomorrow and it's just like, it looks to be you. The safe's handle is missing. Not anymore, it ain't. Oh, joy. To be honest, Bluebeard scares me less than these bugs. I wish I had bug spray. Maybe I can find the combination somewhere. What a dark place. It's decided. To lift the curse, I must kill Rachel, Bluebeard. You wish, Bluebeard? I won't give up so e that easily. I won't give up that easily. Or so easily, or whatever. My son wasn't always like this. Alistair was a good boy until I left him. I wish I could change the past so none of this happened. He took his favorite train. It meant so much to him. You found train! All right. We will deal with the train in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see ya.